welcome back to the our final uh, workshop here, flowing on the grid. Um, before I uh, talk about our process, I'm going to introduce what we're working with. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is that this is all based about using a the template of a square to create a a kind of flowy grid, and I'll elaborate on that later. Um, I'm just conveniently using these two uh, erasers. Um, you are going to want something with a little height because we're going to be taking this brush um, and we're going to be basically using it to outline something. So you want something with an edge. Um, it can be a matchbox, it can be a wooden block, uh, anything that is, you know, that you can trace around. Um, you're going to need some kind of flowy uh, liquid. Uh, I'm using ink, but um, you can use anything that's in your kitchen cabinet, like food coloring. Uh, if you have access to paint or ink, that's like the best. Um, but any kind of natural dyes or anything like that, uh, old coffee or something like that, anything to make a mark. Um, you're going to need a paper towel to kind of uh, get rid of the, the excess ink or to, you know, to, because you, you're going to, at sometimes you want a very wet mark or sometimes you want a very dry mark. Um, and as an effect, you might want to need uh, some salt. Uh, I have a, a very fancy automatic salt grinder here, uh, but, you know, table salt, um, would be nice. We're going to try to do some interesting effects. Uh, so flowing on the grid uh, is it's kind of inspired by this drawing that I did way back in the day where I took a brick and I was just using the brick and at first I was, I was thinking I was going to make a, a brick wall but as I started to kind of break away from the grid I started you know started creating uh, interesting shapes, movements, um, you know, almost like a kind of animation of, of the shape. Um, and so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, and it's, once again, like all, like a lot of these assignments, like don't think about it, uh, try not to be precious with it, and just take one thing uh, at a time. Be present and just kind of react to whatever you're doing uh, on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and start and get some ink flowing. Um, one of the great things about a, an ink brush is the amount of pressure you put on something. So, you know, you can put a lot of pressure on it or you can just paint with very little pressure. And so a lot of this, I would encourage you to kind of think about when you are drawing your shapes. So I'm gonna just going to start over here in the, in the corner. I'm just going to go ahead and just use this block and I'm just going to trace around it. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're just using it as a template. I recommend kind of just going one lap around it. I um, always like to say don't double up on lines. Um, once you got it, you, you know, uh, that's all you need. Um, all right, so there, there's that one right there. Well, let's see if I just, let's just put this one right next to it. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, we're off to the races. I'm gonna kind of maybe connect these two. Don't feel too intimidated if you cross the lines. Um, if you want to interrupt it, um, you might want to let some of these lines dry, um, or you might create, you know, might might start stamping the in interior of, of whatever object you're using. But uh, that being said, if if that doesn't bother you, then you know you don't need to wait at all. Uh, I'm gonna maybe pull back, and I might go over here. If 
it up. All right, now we have all these, some of the themes that we've been talking, shapes within shapes. All right, so idea is flowing. So let's break this up a little bit. And let's see if you kind of just, if you break it up by just moving things just a little bit, almost lining it up with something else, but you're just kind of twisting it a little bit. You know, if you want to speed it up, you can do that too. I kind of refer to this as like kind of the animation of the line. All right, now we kind of have that you know, kind of animation line. Now you can kind of think about making areas busy, making things quieter. You know, you got some stuff to react to. Let's just go ahead and mix it up a little bit. It's always good to kind of maybe move your drawing around. Maybe take take a breather from, from that area. We'll go ho over here. This time maybe I might start with a, a a thicker line get a little more bold um, the great thing about using a contrast uh, like, like black ink on, on white paper or if you have black paper or white ink you know that 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 contrast does a lot of the heavy lifting for you um, I'm just going to put a lot of pressure on the the last stroke so you kind of see how I went in pulled down right there I'm kind of feeling that so maybe I'll go over here and go really pressure the whole way I created something interesting too gonna clean my brush here Since I went pretty heavy on the ink, I'm just going to kind of get my brush cleaned and I might go back to a, a lighter line. I might go ahead and spin this. All these little kind of kind of little accidents usually create pretty interesting mark making so once again you can be precious and try to be precise or you can go kind of loose might just break the format here and you can just tilt it maybe I'll just instead of twisting it I might go in one direction and I might back it up all right good time to maybe move all right we got some some action going on here now got some vibrations we have some movement maybe I'll go ahead and continue that maybe it might get caught up in this corner Maybe I'll twist it around. All right. 
All right, now I'm gonna maybe, I might start making a little bit of a, some chaos here. I'll get my ink brush kind of, we'll, have, we'll get it heavy with some ink. And I'm just gonna continue to do this over here. Really kind of chaotic, maybe it's kind of bouncing around. And it's okay to like have some, some kind of wetness. All right, this is where our salt comes in. So the salt will naturally just, you, know, you can kind of just cover that area with salt. And what that's going to do, it's going to suck up some of that, that ink. Um, let it sit there for a minute. And then at the end, we'll kind of brush it off. And it might add a little bit of a, an effect. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, all right, so now I might, what I might do is I might just use some, try to use some gray tones. Um, I might even not use the ink. I might just use this kind of ink water. Maybe I'll do a little test run here, see. So yeah, it's a little bit of gray, and that's always good to do. And I'll, I'll start over here. This might cause a little bit of a kind of bleeding effect. Um, and what's nice about this is that when you do add salt to this, um, it will be a nice little effect. So you might gonna see some like speckles in there. All right, maybe I might break this for a second break and maybe I'll just go ahead and use, go in there, shape within a shape, maybe echo some of this stuff up. Maybe I might fill in an area. The more loose you are with the brush, you're gonna get some nice little interesting marks might go ahead and maybe come down here and a little bit of this gray line the key is to Really use your, your gut to to know if you're if you're going too far or if you're complimenting. Um, there's a fine line between using this wet medium and then creating something that turns really muddy. Uh, so you want to avoid you want to try to avoid the mud, kind of be on by that line of. I feel like we're getting close to the end here. Um, I might have to, I'm gonna move this, see if I can get a different feel for something. All right, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go ahead and fill something, maybe something this, fill this in right here. This is really liquidy, so I'm just gonna cake on the salt here. that kind of you can see it already kind of sucking up all that that water all right let's see I'm gonna go back in maybe maybe I might add a little a very light line in here Maybe I'll try to fit one in here. Something very subtle.
Maybe I'll go around it. Barely touching it. Turn it, let's see where we're at. All right, in some ways you can maybe break break from the template and maybe go in, but but I don't know. You could do that. I might stick with this just to follow it all the way through. You know, at this point, you might want to take a little minute and kind of look at all the different characters you have in this drawing. You have some gray lines, some 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 dark lines. You got some some chaos. You got some thick gestures. Um, you know, you got things that are in the background, things that are in the, the foreground. Um, at this state of the game, you probably just want to do, you know. A little bit of activity but not too much um, so it seems pretty heavy up here it's kind of light down here so maybe I might go for like maybe a heavy action down here and then I might call it a day so but let's see maybe I'll go more with the uh, ink water down I do kind of a, a thick line like that. Maybe I'll turn it. Maybe I'll do another one. And then I might just maybe color this, this corner in. All right. Add some salt to it. All right, so maybe just wait. Um, for this demo, I'm probably just like it'd probably be better just to kind of maybe like walk away from it. Um, let it let a lot of the, the ink dry, uh, and then when you're done, you can just you know just take your drawing, put it upright, and kind of tap off all the salt. You know, and it may or may not leave uh, an interesting mark, but it might just, you know, we're looking, we're going to let the lines do all the heavy lifting, and this is just basically adding a little bit of, of texture. Um, so we'll wait for a couple minutes, and then we'll come back and see what this looks like. So um, now that everything has dried, uh, you get some, you let the salt kind of do its thing. Um, you're going to notice that some areas it might have an effect more than others, but it's all just about uh, experimenting and kind of seeing what happens. Uh, so uh, the first thing you want to do is maybe just, you know, you could put it on its side and kind of see what, what naturally comes off. Um, and then you want to kind of just take your, your fingers lightly kind of lightly scrape off some of some of the salt here you definitely want to make sure everything's kind of dry some areas are going to be alright then we're going to let all that come off right there All right, so it's just a nice little kind of subtle effect to get to bring texture to your drawing. Um, it had, you know, kind of a low impact over here. The the ink was kind of too thick, too dominating. Um, but that being said, as you go here, you can see these kind of nice textures. This added a kind of like smoky kind of bubble effect, and definitely over here in the washy areas. It really kind of does a good job of 
of adding texture to some of these kind of uh, these kind of more thick, flowy lines. Um, and that's always that's always just nice because variety. You can have the same kind of line, but there's always different kind of variety of type of line. Um, uh, you know, taking something like this and then adding texture to it. It's just still it's kind of still the same line, but it's kind of doing a different job. Um, and that's uh, and that's and that's the workshop here. You know, you could turn it around and see what direction you might like it. Um, let's see. I think I'm most happy with it this way. Um, and yeah, and that's and that's the workshop here. You know, taking a, a simple square object, um, paying attention to your flow, your your animation how you move things around you're using a brush but you're not really painting with a brush it's more of a collaboration with your shape and brush um, overlapping lines creating layers then kind of breaking away from it still using the kind of grid but definitely there's definitely more of a flow to this um, and you can do this with any shape uh, in particular I just used it with the square you can do it with circles any object Thank you.